Hey guys, Patrick Down with the Southern Charm Team, part of EXP. I'm here with Kara Johnson hey. from uh, Oglethorpe Mortgage. And today she's going to tell us how to get ready to buy a home from the lending side. Yep. So Kara, tell us a little bit about yourself before we get started. Um, I'm Kara Johnson. I'm a loan officer here at Oglethorpe Mortgage. And I have been in the industry for about four years now. And uh, I love helping you guys buy homes. All right. I love that. Hey, you love doing it. Yeah. It's going to be easy, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Excellent, excellent. So I got the, I um, went to Investopedia, you know, I like to look at uh, articles online just to read about real estate stuff so I can mm -hmm. stay current. Um, and one of the articles is how to get ready to buy a home from the lending side. So yeah. we got with the lender just to see um, what her suggestions are. So when you're starting to apply for a loan, mm -hmm. um, I know one of the first things you guys look at is debt to income ratio. Can you just explain the debt to income ratio to us, please? Sure. So debt to income ratio, it sounds like a big scary word, right? <laughs> and it's pretty much just your monthly debts divided by your monthly income. So, and when we say debts, we're not talking um, your utilities. We mean your auto loans, your personal loans, uh, any other mortgages you might have, uh, credit cards. Uh, so credit cards, car payment, house loans. Yeah. That's it. Yep. Okay. All right. Good. Yeah. That seems pretty easy. Yeah. Sometimes it's Divided by your monthly income. It's pretty it, easy. Is it easy though? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes people don't realize how much of a, the, that the income ratio has an effect on their yeah. loan. So now you do the ratio, you have figured everything in. What yeah. is a good debt to income ratio if people wanted to do some math at home to know if they should be ready to buy a house? So lenders usually say an ideal is no more than 36% because they want to make sure that you have the ability to repay this loan. Um, they want to make sure you're financially stable. So a good rule of thumb is the 28-36 rule. So your housing ratio should be no more than 28% of your pre-taxed income um, okay. or no more than 36% of your total debt. So an example of the 28-36 rule, right? Would So would it be something if I made $10,000 a month with my spouse? Yep. Right. So Same a combined day. income of ten thousand dollars, thirty six percent of your total income should not exceed thirty six hundred dollars. Thirty six hundred dollars. But then, your housing income is at twenty eight, twenty eight percent, so twenty eight hundred dollars a month, and that's if you have a round number of ten thousand a month. Okay. So what does that mean? Like when you say it's a good DTI, does that like they help? want to make sure that you're not going to be house poor? They want to make sure you're not living paycheck to paycheck, and that you're living within your means. They want to make sure you're going to be able to repay. Because um, obviously they're putting their neck out on the line. So it's a risk, risk for the bank. Absolutely. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. All right, and um, okay, so that's DTI. So if we're talking about another factor of buying a home, mm -hmm. uh, down payment. Now, what do you recommend mm -hmm. as a down payment that people should save up for sure. percentage-wise of the home that they're going to buy? Um, in an ideal world, 20% down payment. Um, so... Uh, again, easy math, uh, 100000 20% down, $20,000. Um, that's in an ideal world. Obviously, not everyone is in a, an ideal financial situation. Right. Um, we all start somewhere. Right. And so we have programs that go as little as 3.5% um, down on an FHA loan or mm -hmm. even 0% on a USDA loan. Okay. All right. You guys do uh, Chinoa, right? We do. And that's like mm -hmm. a 0% down, right? It's a down payment assistance program. So mm -hmm. it's an FHA based, but it's down payment assistance. So you could come to the table with $0. Mm, I like those. Yeah, me too. <laughs> we're going to be talking about those other ones later. But um, on this one, we're just going to see how much money we need to save for down payment, sure. GTI. Okay, so you said 20% ideally. Um, mm -hmm. And that kind of lends towards the PMI. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. Can you tell... The audience what a PMI is? Yep, another big word, PMI, <laughs> private mortgage insurance. So what is that? Uh, it is mortgage insurance for the lender. It protects them because they are the ones uh, lending you the money and making sure that if anything happens, uh, we understand that uh, things happen in life. If you can't repay, that they're getting their money covered. So it doesn't cover the consumer. It doesn't cover you, no. <laughs> you're still going to have your own home insurance. <laughs> ah, it covers their money. So you're paying to cover the bank. Got yes, you. Absolutely. Right. So 20% is important so you don't pay to cover the banks, you know, if you foreclose or something like that. Yeah. Now, interest rates have been on the rise, as I've seen. And, and uh, tell me what you've guys seen since January, since the new year. So... Federal Reserve has stated that they're going to start rising. Uh, they said the first would be in March, and we're already starting to see the effects of that. 
Um, yeah. I think over the next year, we're going to see multiple additional rate increases. Now, there's no obvious timeline graph to show pinpoint where exactly that number and when that increase is going to happen. So if you're ready to buy, obviously now might be the time. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> absolutely. When, can you, so can you give me an example of what the difference in your payment would be if the rates rise, say a percentage point? Sure. On a percentage point. So, um, obviously it's going to come down to what your loan amount is. Um, but an average, you might see an increase of anywhere from a hundred to two hundred dollars a month increase um, on a very um, starter home loan. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hundred to two hundred. I month. know that number sounds crazy, but that's I mean, a lot of that's money. That's a lot of money. Yeah. That's Twelve to twenty four hundred dollars a year. Yeah. Wow. So has there been a um, timeline where you think like interest rates would be going up, or is it just sporadic? It's definitely sporadic. I mean, there's no. Um, there's nothing on paper that says, hey, on this date, they're rising. Make sure you lock in. Um, it's just going to be sporadic throughout the year. And I think there's going to be multiple uh, raises in interest rates. Um, mm -hmm. And again, there's just no specific timeline. So we're talking about your mortgage rate could go up or your payment could go from one month. You don't buy. It could be, I don't know, 900 to go into the next month, it could be a thousand and just keep incrementally rising. That could be scary. Easily, yeah. I mean, a whole percent could raise your payment anywhere from a hundred, two hundred dollars a month. You know, that's a For lot sure. of money when you think about it. Yeah, it adds it up. Is, it adds up quick. <laughs> it sure. adds up quick. All right, so no timeline could end up sporadically. So, what do you guys like? What is what does Oldsmore Mortgage do? Um, as far as what do you guys think? So, um, I mean, one thing that you can do is we offer uh, to be determined. So if you're thinking about buying and you're not sure if you're able to, um, talk with us about the pre-approval process. And we have, uh, we can always send your loan up as a TPD to be determined okay. with the lender where they can do a full underwrite and tell us, hey, yeah, they're ready to buy or, hey, we need to look at this. Um, but it's good. And then that way, once we do get an approval from the lender, you're pretty much just finding a house. Oh, that would be so much easier than what I'm going through right now. <laughs> yeah. But I tell, I tell people all the time, you know, the, the first step in the home buying process is to get qualified yes, for a loan. that's so important. Well, so many times you're out there looking at homes and I, what I don't want, and I, I try to explain this to the consumer is that I don't want them to be going to house to house to house to house, fall in love with the house. Mm -hmm. Then go call the bank and they're like, no, we can't give you that loan. Yeah. Well, you want to see what your, your buying power is. What? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. How much exactly. can I spend? Because you don't want to look at a house that's way out of your budget and right. fall in love and say, oh, that's my dream house. And uh, then this is what I can give you, you know? Um, and that hurts. I mean, you don't want that to happen. It, it's happened so many times, especially in this market, so fast. Everything oh, is boom. Yeah. So if you can get pre-approved to a point to where you're just looking at houses, they've already underwritten everything, and you know how much money you can actually spend, yeah, it puts you in a driver's seat. I literally say, hey, you go, this is what your buying power is, say 200000 you go find a house, you're give good. me a contract. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's nice. Yeah, we definitely need that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you definitely need to do that. Um, use them as your advantage. Use them as your source. You guys do other loans, right? What other loans do you guys do besides the TV? Yeah, we have writing? regular conventional loans, uh, second investments. We do FHA. We do uh, USDA, zero down. Um, we have the Chenoa, which is a down payment assistance program. Um, and I know everyone starts somewhere. Uh, you know, you might think that, hey, I can't afford it, but maybe it's just, if you can't save, if you haven't saved enough um, and you don't have enough money for a down payment, there's always options. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. If you're a veteran, obviously, I'm sure you have yeah, VA loans. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's still, I mean, in this market, currently as we sit, what's the date today? February what? The 11th. 11th? Yes. February 11th. Yes. 2022. <laughs> if you don't have your ducks in a row to buy a house right now, you are at a disadvantage. And Oglethorpe Mortgage sounds like they can put you in a perfect yeah. position to make sure that you're ready to buy a home. I can't tell you how many contracts I write a day almost. It's daily now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you have to be you have to know what your buying power is so that when you go in and you're ready to put in that offer, you know what your max is because these the seller's market is just 
It's hot right now. It's not even a seller. I mean, it's like a hyper seller's market. This ain't even a regular seller market. It's yeah. insane. There's sellers don't have to do anything, literally, <laughs> to sell their house. If you don't want it because of the 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 color of the wall, they're gonna find seventy five other people that will. Sure. Um, we don't want the loan to be a thing that stops you from getting the home. So give Kara a call. We're going to leave her information down below. Um, give me a call when you're ready to go do something. And um, I want to thank you very much for thank having you. me. Thank you. Thanks for having me. And uh, we'll talk to you all later. See you later.